Welcome back guys to another video. I got something pretty special, which is Vestas Wind Systems. This is a stock that mostly specializes in wind turbines. And I know a bunch of you guys are thinking, why are you introducing us to this company? Well, in the past five years, it's up 272%. It's a stock that a lot of people are sleeping on. Personally, I think way too many of us are focusing on battery stocks, electric car stocks, but a lot of us aren't looking in other departments in the clean energy sector, especially Vestas Wind Systems, which mostly specializes in the construction and delivery of wind turbines. This is a really big industry and this market is growing at a super rapid pace. And most people just simply don't know about this type of stuff. And a lot of people who invest a lot of money in clean energy don't really invest in wind, but wind is very good. It's a really simple business and a lot of countries right now are ordering stuff from Vestas. Now the market cap is enormous at $52 billion and there's more room to grow. There's even dividends 0.3 and the average volume is 136,000, which means that most people don't even know that this company even exists because everyone once again is so focused on battery stocks, EV stocks, lithium stocks, and no one is talking about wind stocks. So Vestas is a really big company. They construct a lot of these massive wind turbines and they've been constructing them all around the world and they have several employees and they're pretty big and they even joined the Formula E, which I guess is pretty cool. And so far, I feel like Vestas, if you really want to invest in clean energy and something that will definitely give you good returns, you can't go wrong with Vestas because they're the leading company in wind turbines Wind energy is becoming bigger than ever before. They're having several different partnerships with other companies. And with cleaner energy becoming like the bigger norm, if you invest in like any sort of a clean energy company, you will make more cash. And the wind turbine industry is becoming bigger than ever before. You shouldn't be sleeping on Vestas Wind Systems. Now, they have been getting a lot of institutional owners buying in. These are like the big banks, the big hedge funds. At this current moment, they have 34 institutional owners and shareholders. That's pretty big. Usually when you see a brand new stock or like a lesser known cleaner energy stock, you don't really see 37 institutional investors holding the shares. You usually see maybe 10 to 15. At best, I've seen maybe 25, but it's really rare to see a company or stock have more than 30 institutional owners and that is pretty big and that's a big applause for Vestas. I think a lot of other companies kind of know that this is a good stock. There really isn't that much volume because the majority of traders when they buy into VWDRY, which is the ticker name, they simply just hold it. There's really no point trying to swing trade this. You buy it, you hold it for months and months. And there's no point swing trading it because it's rarely ever goes down. I mean, occasionally it does slowly go down, but it's like less than a couple of bucks. In the past month, almost every single day, it's been going up. Even when it drops, it only drops by a couple of bucks at most. In the past three months, has little to no hiccups. I think wind energy is really important and a lot of investors are simply taking note of this. This is why most investors are sitting in their buy orders. After they buy it, that's it. No more movement. And you also have Vestas winning a Dutch order for 207 megawatts wind farm repowering. This is also pretty good. You do have this customer with his collaboration of more than 170 residents and different entrepreneurs in the Netherlands and ordered 37 units of one of their biggest wind turbines. So that is also very nice to see. And Vestas in unveiling that at the end of 2020, the European orders totaled up to 572 megawatts, which is pretty awesome. Wind energy is getting bigger than ever before. And this is an international company. They don't just build wind turbines in Europe. And Vestas, they're making a lot of money, okay? In 2019, they made $12.15 billion. And that was before a massive love for cleaner energy stocks. That was when, you know, not that much stuff was going on Tesla, not much stuff was going on Neo. 
but Vesta still managed to rake in $12.15 billion. And recently in 2020, they experienced a massive increased revenue. In the second quarter of 2020, Vesta's generated revenue, which is a 67% increase compared to the year earlier. That's incredible. That's almost 100%. Rarely do you even see a stock generate income with this much growth, 67% growth compared to last year. That's really incredible. And Vestas, as of 2019, has installed over 66,000 wind turbines. I'm guessing 2020, they are probably building even more. Several facilities in more than 12 different countries, some of them in China, Spain, etc. More than 25,000 people are employees of Vestas. So these guys are a pretty big giant. Now, if you guys feel like, okay, wind turbines are pretty cool, but, you know, is this even a big company? Like, are these guys, is Vestas, like the leading stock to buy. Is there any other wind turbine stocks that are better? Actually, no, because Vestas is extremely big or else they couldn't make 66,000 wind turbines. If you check this out, Vestas is literally the world's largest wind turbine maker. They have a 16% stake of the world's wind turbine market. And with the wind turbine market growing at a rapid pace, if you just type in wind turbine market, this is growing. Now, the global wind turbine market was valued at roughly $90 billion in 2019 and is expected to grow to $123 billion in 2025 with more countries you know, capitulating and getting wind turbines rather than other things. It's a super simple business. Like You set up the wind turbines, as long as you have like wind and the thing spins, you generate electricity for a city or your town. It's really good. It's wind technology. They tr transform kinetic energy into mechanical power. It's great. And it's really clean. There's no pollution. It's literally a giant turbine that just turns. So it's great. A lot of countries seem to like it. And countries that have a lot of fuels or really windy areas will order a ton of these turbines. And who would you order from? A small company or Vestas, you probably want to order Vestas if you want to have wind turbines. And by the way, that looks pretty cool. Like this guy's like inside the wind turbine. And just the fact that they're the biggest wind turbine manufacturer, a 16% stake is enormous. You have a lot of other companies like Goldwind, Envision, you got like Minyang, Windy, Nordex. None of these guys are as big as this Danish wind turbine company. And I really do feel like this is a major game changer. How do I feel about this? Now, the low volume is a little bit troublesome, but at the same time, this stock has been doing really well for the past you know, one year. And because wind is becoming bigger than ever before, and these guys are the leading wind turbine manufacturers, the market cap of $52 billion simply doesn't do it justice. And the volume is super low, so once like Wall Street bets or some major hedge fund or when the retail traders with hedge funds jump in, this stock will surge up even more. At this current moment, it's a very chill, very relaxing stock. Not that much is happening. You buy shares, you get some phenomenal returns every month. If you want something super safe to park your money, you can't really go wrong with wind turbines. I mean, it's a really good way to generate electricity. They have a you know growing number of orders. So things are looking good for the stock. So definitely consider, I mean, this is one of the few companies out there that I really seem to like. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching and comment below.